Hello friends and welcome to the Rebookery channel. It's Gina and I'm going to share with you guys just some plain in my journal and there's no, um, like I don't have a plan or anything. I actually, okay, funny story here. I actually sat down um, and thought, well, I'm just going to play in my journal and I will just hit record and whatever happens, happens. So I did. And about an hour and a half later, I finished and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I could probably get three videos out of this because I did some really cool stuff. And lo and behold, I forgot to hit record. So I was so frustrated. Um, yeah, because there was some good stuff in there that I did. So anyway, this is me coming back to my journal um, and doing another session. So one of the things I discovered in this mystery session that I didn't record was I figured out this really cool way to do some embossing using oil pastels. So I thought I would um, show you guys how I had done it on another page. So here's what I did. I had some oil pastels and when whenever I use oil pastels, I have ones that are not water soluble. And so I always put them on my top layer. Um, but they, they just kind of sit there and you can put a fixative over them, but, um, a lot of times I just leave them the way they are and they can become sticky and they can smudge. So I thought about what if I put some embossing powder over it and, and I heated it up. So here's what I did is I took some oil pastel, I heated it up with my, um, heat gun. And once it got a little sticky, um, and you can kind of see where it becomes shiny. I sprinkled some embossing powder. Now I just did um, like a clear embossing powder, but you could do colored and then it stuck to the oil. So then I went ahead with my heat gun and I heated it up to where the granules melted and it became that slick embossing um, type of texture which was kind of cool. And I discovered it by accident when I had made that mystery, um, that mystery journaling session. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I had some oil pastel on another page and I thought I would go ahead and try to recreate that. I really like it because it seals in the oil and um, it adds a little bit of texture and a little bit of dimension. And because it's embossing powder, it's slick. So like right now I'm painting on the insides but I can wipe off the excess paint um, because it's not going to stick as well to that embossing powder, the, the embossed part, because it's more of like a plastic. So this page is just one that um, I put down an image from a Dick and Jane book, and then I painted over it. And then I painted over it again, <laughs> and then um, I added the oil pastels, and then I embossed, and then I'm just like, you know, I really don't, there, I just, I don't know, something's not jiving. So I just grabbed some colors and um, just started slapping some paint down. Now again, I have no um, idea what I'm doing here. I am just in this, I'm in this, uh, well, there's a lot of chaos going on at my house right now. So full disclosure, um, we have, our entire house is a hot mess. We had bought some wood flooring last summer. It was on clearance and we bought it and stored it in the garage with the idea that we were going to remove all the disgusting carpet in this house um, and lay the wood floor throughout our whole house um, this summer. So this summer is here and this project has now turned into um, painting because it had been 13 years since we moved in and painted. So we have to paint all of the rooms um, and rip up all the carpet and that with 13 years of accumulated stuff, we are basically just picking up stuff and moving it from one room to another and it is just... I can't even explain the chaos. Um, I'm very thankful that we are able to do this and I am grateful for um, us having this nice house. But in the meantime, this has just been a hot mess. So my room, the room that I'm actually in right now filming this, okay, here's, here's how this goes down. 
Um, it's got half carpet, half wood floor, half, well, I know there's not three halves, but, um, and then part of the floor is just the concrete with the plastic um, underlayment sitting over it. There is stacks of wood floor. There is no tables because we've removed the tables. So the desk that I'm on here is like the only table left. Um, and then just piles of junk <laughs> in the middle of the floor. So I had actually filmed what the room looked like before I started um, that mystery journal session. And of course, didn't hit record. So it totally makes sense because my life is in chaos right now. So that would make sense that my filming would be chaotic right now. So anyway... I am just kind of sitting here trying to sort out some ideas and just kind of get, a, I have to stay sane during this. Um, so I'm just kind of f trying to get some creative juices going uh, before I have to turn around and look at the mess and pick up where we left off the day before, which um, the older my husband and I get, the more breaks we need to take in between projects. <laughs> we used to, back in our 20s and 30s, man, we could knock out house projects left and right. But now, we usually work for a couple of days, and then <laughs> we have to take like a week break. Um, so, yeah. So, this is me stealing a little bit of time, and just I'm just going through, and when I work in my journals especially at the beginning when I first start a journal, I really just kind of go through and if if something catches my eye, if a, if a page from a book catches my eye or an image or a sticker or a stamp or um, something that I got in the mail catches my eye, I'll just put it in anywhere in my journal. It doesn't matter where it is because again, it's all about layers and I'm just... I'm just putting down that foundational layer. So you'll see that I've got like on this page right here, that is the label from some feed sacks that I got earlier this summer. And I just put it down as my foundational layer. Um, I don't know if I'll cover the whole thing up, but it's just that first layer. Um, and and I, I, love, I love building up in layers. If you remember when we first started this altered book, the first, one of the first fun things we did once we got our book set up was we just kind of went through with ink and paint and we just kind of, we just kind of messed up the pages a little bit, put a little bit of color on those pages. And so that was like our, our beginning. And then now what I do is I go through and I just add anything that I feel like adding. Um, it could be paper or it could be paint or it could be um, like drawing or it could be writing so this is like another, another bottom layer. And then I just kind of over time, progressively build up those layers. So I have some books here. Um, actually, this I filmed this before I did my vintage farm kits um, in Etsy. But these were some of the books that I wasn't able to use because they had torn pages. So I'm just kind of looking through them to see if there was any images because for whatever reason, this page makes me think of farms. But I couldn't find anything that I really wanted to use, so I kind of abandoned that. I had a Sesame Street book, and I love Sesame Street, and I love Sesame Street books because of the the one the ones that were made in the 70s just has the best illustrations and the, the most awesome colors and that's my jam and I just wanted to use you know like something of that era in this journal I just felt like it needed it and so there's this page um, of these fireflies and I was like oh you know what we're we just commented the other night on how we're really starting to see a lot of fireflies um, in the evening and so I was just like you know what I'm gonna put that page in there now I'm going to put the whole page in. Um, I'm going to trim it down a little bit, but I'm not, I'm going to put it in and I don't know, we'll see what happens. I may cover it up. I, I may not cover it up. I may just use it as an accent, um, but I just, I felt like I just wanted to include that page. And I just happened to have um, a page that we had pulled from this book when we altered it um, laying right next to my desk. And I thought, well, that will be a great 
backing because not only will it um, give the book page a little bit more um, substance, it'll also be the right size. So I'm just going to glue it onto the back of the Sesame Street page. And then I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch it up just to add a little bit of interest to it. Um, and then I'll go ahead and I will tape it into my journal. Now, you're going to see in this video how I'm kind of jumping around and I abandon a lot of pages. That is totally okay. That is part of the process. And a lot of times um, people ask, you know, did you film that journal process whenever I post a spread or something on Instagram? And, you know, typically I say, no, I didn't because I, I don't think... Um, like people understand the process takes me an hour or two, sometimes days, because I'll just go back and forth. Um, I'll put a little bit of something on this page. I'll add an image to this page. I'll add a piece of tape to this page. And I jump back and forth. And so for the longest time, I kept thinking for me to film that, that would be very discombobulated. Like people would not, maybe not understand that that's just part of the process. Um, but as I'm making more videos and as I'm getting more comfortable with my journaling style, I've really thought about, you know, I need to be filming that. And so that that was my attempt when I made that mystery video um, because, oh my God, it was, so, <laughs> it was so good. I wished, I was so mad at myself um, when I found out I hadn't recorded that. And it was perfect because nobody was at the house, so it was nice and quiet. Yeah, and and you saw me bounce around from page to page. So anyway, here's me doing that again. Um, I think I did have to wait because I was so mad at myself. I did wait a day or two before I filmed this one because I was just so mad. And, and I was like, I don't want to do it because then it'll be too, um, like it, it'll look like I tried to to recreate what I had messed up. So, so this is authentic and this is me doing it the next, uh, I think I did it the next day. But Again, it's the same process. Like I'll just play with a page for a while. Um, if something speaks to me, like on this this side over here on this left hand side, I was like, man, I really want to use some Payne's gray, um, and I I think I'm just feeling like I want to use that color today, and so I did, and it matched um, the paint, or I'm sorry, it matched the colors over on that Sesame Street uh, page, and so I was like, yeah, that that's perfect. Um, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to go a little bit farther. I'm going to add, I'm going to add some ink. I'm going to add some, um, some spray ink here that has a little bit of, uh, some metallic in it. Cause you know, I'm kind of feeling the night vibe and, and then maybe add some white. So it kind of looks like stars and, um, put some of that over on that Sesame street page. So it kind of ties the two together. And so you would think that, okay, here's where she's going in this process. She's going to complete this whole page. Um, but I don't. And that's okay. Because I don't want to right now. I, I just want to put just enough and then I'm done with it. And, and here's, here's the cool thing that I have found. And this is the way that I journal. So if you don't journal this way, that is okay. But I like to leave some for me to do later. And that's kind of where I take this page. I'm like, yeah, I get a nice foundation. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done. And so I move on to the next one. Now, this next one, see that image, those uh, nine squares on the left hand side. I think the caption underneath that says in your kitchen or something like that. But it's a kitchen window. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, I think that's kind of cool because it would look like if you were looking out your kitchen window and I happen to have these bird stamps and it was just the right size. And so I thought, wouldn't that be cool to make an image that looked like you were looking out your kitchen window? Because when I look out my kitchen window, I can see the crazy birds that are hanging out down by the bird feeder in the bird bath. And so I thought, well, I'll just recreate that. So I totally abandoned, um, the first two or three pages, and now I'm working on another page. It seems hap haphazard, 
But in my mind, it's just part of that process. It's, it's, I'm not in the finishing stage right now. I'm in the, the playing, the layering stage. So what I'm looking for in this page right here is I want something to kind of represent like a wall. Um, and I found this uh, handmade paper and it's really thick um, almost like uh, fabric. That That's how cottony the fibers are in this paper. And I thought, wouldn't that be cool to represent wallpaper? And it's almost the right size. So I cut it down and I glue it on this paper to kind of represent wallpaper. Because in my mind, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to create a window around that bird stamp. So I put this down and it adds a nice strength to, to that paper that I put into that book page. And now I want to add like a frame um, around that stamp. And so I have this, this pink. I love this pink. It's, a, it's from a Dick and Jane book. And um, it's the, I think it's the end paper uh, from the book. So there was text on one side and then there was color on the other. But that pink is just... I don't know, there's something about that pink that is just gorgeous. Um, and so I thought, well, I'll just cut, cut it down and I'll frame it out like it's the, the frame to my window. And so that's that's what I'm doing. Um, I think I add some more paper on that left-hand side, to, left -hand side again to kind of represent wallpaper. Actually, I think it might even be wallpaper that I put on that left-hand side. But again, as with the theme that I'm doing here today, I leave it. I, I leave it alone. I don't finish this page. And I'm okay with that. I'm just setting it up. I'm just getting it ready. Because there are days where I will take my supplies, I have them in tubs, and they're portable, like I carry them all over the house, and I'll go outside and I'll sit um, for hours on my deck or um, underneath um, on the patio and I'll just play. I'll play with pins and markers um, and stickers. And that's, that's when I finish the pages. And so I'm really just kind of setting these pages up for a day of when I go outside and I just have my tubs of markers and I'm just playing. And I'll, I'll finish it. And I think I've, I've told you guys this before. I call that pin work where I just doodle and I add accents and and little dots of interest and and maybe some words and that's the finishing that's like the icing on the cake so so like today was all about just building up the cake and then one day who knows when it may be this fall it may be next week it may be tomorrow I take my journal out and I I finish up these pages and so that's kind of what I wanted you guys to take away from this video is that you don't have to sit down and complete something all in one, one fell swoop. The other thing is you kind of just get to a point where you're like, okay, I'm kind of done and I'm over this <laughs> and I need to go find something else to do today. And that's about where I'm at in this video. You'll see, um, I kind of fumble around, try to figure out, you know, is there anything else I want to add, anything else I want to do? Nothing really is striking me as, um, you know, something that needs to go in the journal. I'm, I've kind of used up all my creativity. And then all of a sudden, I'm just like, okay, I'm done. And I close the journal and <laughs> the video is over. And that's okay, too. Knowing that you can always come back to your journal. I mean, it's not going anywhere. So if you leave a page undone, it's okay. It gives you a great place to pick up when you come back to your journal and you have a fresh mind and you have fresh ideas and maybe some new inspiration. It's so okay to abandon a page. Um, it's okay to leave a page unfinished. It's okay to leave a page um, half done. It's okay to leave a page blank. Um, I look through some of my journals that I've done, you know, over the years, and I have a lot of pages that are just, just that. They're just at this stage right here, and I just left them. And it's okay. 
Um, there's no rule that says you have to finish anything. There's no rule that says every single page needs to be a work of art. Remember that your journal is about the process. It's about the inspiration and the fun and the creativity and the joy and the therapy that you get as you are playing around with color and images and all the things that make you happy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of a long one. <laughs> um, and I hope you guys gained some inspiration. I hope you guys um, are healthy and I hope you are happy. And I hope you do something creative today. And remember, it's okay to leave things undone. The world will not blow up. Have a great rest of the day, my friends. Bye.